Hi, I just got this uh, new Aperture Amaran uh, 60XS Studio Light here. Um, it's a very cool, um, very cost-effective um, thing. It's only about 250 Aussie bucks, and this is a 60 watt, hence the uh, 60, I guess, um, 60 watt adjustable color temperature studio light. It's got a fan in the back, which is always on, um, but it doesn't actually generate too much noise, so it's probably usable like right next to me as uh, studio lights. And uh, it's got a threaded uh, DC uh, power jack in. It's got a uh, side mount thing. I don't know if that's a standard or not, but uh, it comes with um, two, a two Sony uh, battery adapter. So you can plug it on the side and then plug it directly into here. That actually comes in the uh, box with it. It's a very cool bit of kit. Very well made. And I do like the um, aperture uh, lights. I, I use many of them. You've seen them in my uh, videos. But this one um, is very cool and it's got the uh, it's got the Bluetooth and whatnot, and if we, well, there we go, we can turn that on, we can adjust, well, right up to 100% there, or we can go right down to 1%, which will be handy for what we're going to do here, hopefully, um, and then I can uh, go in there and I can adjust the temperature, the colour temperature, in um, 100 uh, degree increments, uh, like this, from 30, oh, 2700, uh, K Kelvin up to 6500 so I typically use around uh, 5000 here in the uh, lab here so um, I thought we'd take a look at um, the cob lead here um, under the microscope and see if we can um, have a squiz and it's got Bluetooth uh, control as well but you know I don't know if I'll ever use that but apparently like firmware update don't know why you'd need firmware update your lead light but um, anyway um, giant uh, cob uh, which is a uh, chip on board uh, basically uh, lead um, array up here so that's what we're going to take a look at hopefully with the uh, microscope here and a massive heatsink and the fan just uh, blows directly over the uh, fins like that very nice it's got a uh, Bowens mount um, on here so it comes with a reflector it's uh, quite wide angle if you just use it like this very wide angle uh, but then you can like narrow it down to like 12 degrees or something like that and even comes with like a little uh, soft uh, box adapter for it so it's not a very big soft box it's only about that wide but you can get different soft boxes for it and um, it's it's an awesome uh, value uh, studio lead light very high CRI and everything else so I thought we'd just take a look see if we can actually see the LED array under here and of course the way they get the different color temperatures is to have two different color uh, LEDs in here so one there is your more orange one and this will be like your daylight one and then they just vary the intensity of um, each of those and like every alternate uh, row and then you can mix and match to get uh, the color temperature you want from 2700 right up to 6500 you can actually see like the bond wires in there isn't that cool? I'm I'm not able to get anything better than that because the it's it's the epoxy front on it, um, but yeah, you can definitely see the bond wires and you can see the difference in the color, uh, I, I guess epoxy filter thing that they've got on there. And yeah, they they are different color temperatures. So we'll see if we can see this uh, lit up. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to turn it down to one percent. It, it will actually turn off if you put it on zero, but it will actually go to 1%. So let's flip that over. It's bright at the moment, but I can, uh, I can turn the iris down. We can turn that iris right down, hopefully, and we might be able to see them turned on. Oh, no, iris <laughs> off. No, there we go. That's, a, that's as good as we're going to get. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Um, and you can see that... Yeah, it's mostly, at 1%, it's the blue ones, can't like the daylight temperature ones, actually coming on. So what if I up that to, oh no, that's zero, it's turned off. One and two. Yeah, two is just too overexposed there. Can't see it, so I can only see it at one. And let's go, yeah, we're going up to 56, uh, 6,500. And we'll go all the way down to should start seeing the yellow ones turn on now. 3,700. Yeah. Yeah, so they they are they were on a bit. They were on a bit at the higher temperatures. So you can see that. Isn't that cool? And we're at 3,200. 
3,000 and there's almost no blue coming out of that now but we can actually go and if we go down all the way down to 2700 yeah you'll find that the blue is completely turned off and you've just got the yellow ones and you can see the bond wires in there look at that and there's a white that white fringing I guess around there is I would imagine is the epoxy or whatever they're using to stick to actually stick the uh, lead uh, die down to where, like the aluminium um, heat sink back in on the thing but it looks like that's the best we can do with the microscope with the uh, exposure that we've got so yeah I just thought I'd, I'd have a squiz isn't that cool I like that it's really nice it's really cool to be able to just see the actual bond wires and everything in there and how so how many have they got in series 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 is it the same down here yeah it's 15 for the second row as well and then the third row looks like it's got two strings of is that 15 again yes two parallel strings of 15 so yeah they're they've all got 15 in a row and that would be the same for daylight I would imagine as well if we turn that up yep count the daylight ones and I think you'll find that they're 15 as well you can see that the space like they've got a little bit of gap between there whereas these ones down here they've got absolutely no gap I think they're the same size lead chips in there I don't know you'd have to get you you have to measure the pixels you'd have to be pixel peeping pixel counting to see that but uh yeah they might have like a bigger gap between them a lower gap there to get the 15 and then down here they have to stagger them there's no way they can fit the uh 15 in series like that so that's really something isn't it so there you have it that's the um aperture amaran 60 xs um probably i don't know one of the best brand name um studio lights on the market so um yeah <laughs> very cool bit of kit i've now got like a whole heap of lab lighting now it's very flexible i can do sort of like all sorts of uh jazz not that expensive actually for a um like a studio a brand name um studio light like this um absolutely incredible i, I think my original um hr 672c's which you can see in the background there those ones on the stands uh there i think they were um i think i might have got mine second hand or something but uh yeah i think they were originally more or the same price or more expensive than this bad boy and with the bones mount you can put all sorts of soft boxes and filters and all sorts of stuff um on there so there you go thought i'd just show you that under the microscope if you like that give it a thumbs up catch you next time